pick, you know, we were talking about, we've looked at some of these rivals, Mississippi, Mississippi State, they hate each other in every sport. Alabama, Auburn, mm -hmm. they hate each other in every sport. We talk about Tennessee, you don't think Kentucky's a rival in football. No, they are in basketball. Exactly. It is the no, rival in yes, basketball. Big, big rival. I don't know that you have a – now, I consider Kentucky a football rival too. Not a great rivalry, but I consider that a rival. So I think that is your closest to a two-sport rival in my book. I think during the Bruce Pearl years and when f football was pretty good, Florida kind of climbed up into that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vanderbilt, nah. If you had to pick three schools – if Tennessee got the same annual foes in football and basketball every year, who would you pick? Is Kentucky on that list for football and basketball? Yes. It is for me. Yes, they would be it for is me for too. me. All right, then that leaves us Alabama, Florida, Vanderbilt? No, or Bandy. Bandy's in the discussion. It depends, are, we, are we allowing for the no, fact no. that everybody's got to have three or just the best three for Tennessee and nothing else matters? Yeah, don't worry about that. If we yeah. get into, well, Vandy right. would really get, yeah. I don't know. Because Vandy's got to have somebody. But if we're only worrying about what yeah. Tennessee wants, I wouldn't have Vandy on the list. Uh, I think they, Tennessee fans would say Florida probably before Vanderbilt. Yeah, so. and Alabama. And Alabama's yeah, the are, other yeah. one for me. In alphabetical order. Alabama, Florida, Kentucky. Yep. Alabama. I've got one different from you. Okay. Auburn. Because I... I think that if you renew that rivalry, in it football. would be special. Would be and football. in basketball, and yeah. And you got yeah. Bruce Pearl. I don't think Auburn's ever been a rivalry. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they have. Sure. Sure. Well, who would, who I would, didn't say that. <laughs> who, would you, uh, who would you bump? Florida? Florida. Okay. So you would have and I, Alabama, and Kentucky, and Auburn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I could live with that. Alabama, Auburn, and if, uh, Kentucky. I could, yeah, yeah, I could, I could do road. Florida, Auburn, either one. Yeah, I could go yeah. there. If we're open to sort of – manufacturing an old rivalry and making it one again, I'd be all for that. I think that's a great one. Uh, what you if got we, me there, too. Yeah. What if I took one of those out and put Texas in there? You played Texas I every year. I, I, I think you could uh, I consider Texas. Yeah, because of that, I think it'd be a great rivalry in football, and you got the Rick Barnes angle in basketball. I think it'd be a tremendous yeah. rivalry. Yeah, I think yeah. that one would work. It's number four. I could, I could live with that one, too. Is there anybody else we're missing? I, I like playing Georgia. I mean, I look forward to Georgia games. You certainly yeah. recruit there. And, and, and so Georgia's higher on my list than it probably is with somebody. I could replace Kentucky with Georgia. I love the basketball angle to it. You've got to play Kentucky in basketball. But you've got to play Kentucky in basketball. Yeah. So that would, be the, that would be what would stop yeah. me from doing that. But Georgia's higher on my list and it would be more in the conversation. If Mike White can get that program and hoops up just a little bit more, and I thought they were heading that direction with Anthony Edwards, and, of course, Tom Crean was there, but, I mean, if Georgia could just get on that escalator, maybe. But I'm not there yet because of hoops and their struggles. All right, answer me this one. All right, so biggest rivalry overall, Tennessee-Alabama-Florida? I mean, Tennessee-Alabama football or Tennessee-Kentucky basketball? Well, it's going to be football because football is bigger. Yeah, but is, at some point you wouldn't – but I wouldn't say every football game is bigger than – So, so Alabama-Tennessee. So I think, I think Kentucky, Kentucky basketball is awfully close. To me, those are – that's, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. one and two. Then I would get into Tennessee, yeah. Florida, or Tennessee, Auburn, or something else. But it's Alabama football. Mm. It's Kentucky basketball. Would be my top two. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree with that. I would, I would probably go in that order still because I think Tennessee, Alabama, for so many people, is just synonymous with mid October, it's fall, Saturday. I, I mean, still have that Florida mm -hmm. football right there. Very, very. Okay. And with Al with Kentucky basketball. If you went last thirty years, it's football. It's Florida in football. Yeah. Last thirty years. If you mm -hmm. go the last yeah. seven or eighty years, it's Alabama. In football. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And being that I'm closer to seventy or eighty, <laughs> that's where I would go. <laughs> All right. Um, when we come back, let's take a look at the SEC's new map because it is stretching in a new direction. <laughs> let's take a look at that map and discuss whether or not Greg Sankey says they're not moving the SEC championship game. It is Atlanta. It doesn't look real fair to about three quarters of the conference. Should they move the SEC title game? If so, where? Come on back on the screen.